Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Souling the Ark. I'm Flinger Foo, and pay no attention to the spoiled meat on the floor. It just kind of appears there every once in a while. All right, but today, what we want to do, I want to uh, uh, go get a few things done. Now, I want to go, and now, give me one second. Uh, we need to take this and put this down here, and then... Bam! All right, so there's this empty uh, artifact pedestal here that needs to be filled. It's been here forever. I'm surprised you guys haven't seen it. I've been recording on this for a while, and that, that thing's just been there and it's been empty the entire time. I'm telling you. All right, so what we need to do, we need to go get, we need to go fill it. Now, we've already got the other two, and we've got this one right here, and we've got this one over here, which means that there's only one last one that has to get done because there's only three caves on Scorched Earth. Which means we are wicked close to the Mana Corp. We just don't have an army yet. <laughs> Which is a thing we totally need to do, but that we just haven't done that yet. Now, I've already got a bunch of stuff over on the other maps for armies as well, but unfortunately, my one army died a glorious and uh, tremendously... Uh, how should I say it? Well, they went out with a bang on the uh, Overseer. So we lost that army there. Uh, we did beat the Overseer, but uh, yeah, that... Uh, that, that fight could have went a little bit better i'm just saying but uh, <laughs> so yeah um uh so we need to uh breed a bunch of stuff now i've already brought over the uh tech rexes tech rexes are right here i also have uh broodmother bait that has been surprisingly resilient uranus and uh we've got the uh two breeders for the tech rex is up inside of there so where we can actually start breeding a tech rex army i'm not sure if i want to um farm up the uh rex triangle i probably want to do a video on the rex triangle because it is just such a good resource here um i mean it's it's honestly i mean i know i cover it so often but it's like the mosh pit on the island i talk about it a lot because it's really really effective and it's a really really good spot for going and getting all of your rex needs um, on the, uh, the mosh pit on the island, it's just a good way of going and getting, uh, pretty much everything that spawns in that area, because the respawn on that area is just so fast, so that makes the mosh pit so good, and it's like, any place that you can find that has a reliable respawn rate, um, yeah, it's really, really good, uh, farming spot. I've learned this in my many, many, uh, see, I think we're up to about 12... 13, maybe 14. It's been a long time since I checked. Hours played Ark, and, uh, what, seven years? Uh, Ark's been out seven, six years? Came out in 2015, right? Yeah, we've been playing this for a while. So, yeah, um, all right, so what I want to do, I want to take one of the wyverns. We want to go over, uh, hey, you know what, Coffee Badger? You, actually, you know, I probably just want to keep you like that. Uh, I think it'd be easier if we just carry you. Oh, and also, I named this guy my, uh, uh Lightning Wyvern. I couldn't figure out a name. I figured Sparkosaurus was a really good name for him. Isn't that right? Yeah, Sparkosaurus. Sparkosaurus Rex, even. All right, so uh, let's grab this. Uh, put you right down here. Now there's an easy spot to uh, quickly and efficiently pick up anything on a wyvern. All you do is go like this. Jump in immediately. Bam. All right, there we go. All right, so this last cave is over here in the very far uh, regions of the... Desert, actually, it's kind of close, honestly. But for, uh, you know, all intents and purposes, for this video, we will over-dramatize it and say, like, it is way out in the desert. You can get lost in the sandstorms, and it's so hard to get to, and it'll take you days, and you can, you will get lost, but just keep pressing forward towards the North Star, and you will eventually get to your destination. Never mind all the Rexes and all the Arthropleura that are trying to eat you and come and, uh just do nasty things to your corpse it is okay just keep pressing on towards the north star and then bypass the red barn on the left and then go past the large boulder and you will eventually and get to it it may take you days or hours or even weeks but hey you know what we're here all right so uh this is it and now we're going to uh get up inside of there um, I'm actually just gonna park Ghost right up here, so where, because we park him right up here, it shouldn't be that big of an issue. Um, although we do need to go get a little bit of hide and stuff, so where we can start making up uh, some cloth armor, just to get really quick. Because taking cloth armor inside of the caves 
on Scorched Earth is generally preferred because you will get smacked by Arthropleurus. They are a thing that will eat you and they will make you have a bad day. Oh, we've already got a whole bunch. All right, let's go get some hide now. Uh, what? You're not a boa. You're not a boa. And you're not a boa either, no matter how much you try to be one. You're just, ah, found a boa. All right, so uh, boa equal hide, all the other stuff on the desert equal chitin. All right, so. I am. All right, there we go. All right, so we have a little bit of hide, just a tiny, teensy little bit that we can use to go inside this up here. Now, when you're coming inside this cave, I would recommend, uh, I mean, some of the other caves, it's actually beneficial if you take in, like, a dire wolf or a saber tooth or something like that. This right here, you definitely want a Thyla. You want a Thyla. Thyla is the preferred mount for this cave. Um, over, I mean, even if you've watched all my basics videos, even over a Baryonyx, and you guys know how much I love Baryonyx. All right, so, uh, especially for the caves. All right, so let's go, uh, armor, bam, cloth, sure. But yeah, um, we don't want to have, because we have really nice desert cloth armor, we don't want this stuff equipped when we go in there, because Arthropleurus hurts, and they will do nasty things to our bits. Alright, let's get to that. That. And that. There we go, and... At. Alright, now, th the real question is, do we want Skeleton, or do we not? You know, I'm thinking we do. Alright. I just really enjoy the Skeleton. I think it looks good. Although, the one downside... With uh, the cloth armor against the desert. See, right here, it's uh, overheating inside of here. Inside the cave, it's really not going to be overheating. You might get a little bit hot, but for the most part, this one's pretty cold. But yeah, like I said, um, when it comes to thylacolio, there's only one way to get thylacolios into this spot. And it's not through the main entrance. It's this little spot right here. Right here. All you do is just climb up here. Jump over, bam, and then you get attacked by a mantis that's sitting right there, just minding his own business. And then you come right up over here, and you see this right here, bam, just right there, right inside. And that's how you get the thyla in. Or you can come up with other creative ways with cryopods. There are other methods uh, to uh, the madness, as long as you get in here. And this is really dark, so we... Uh, normally, when I, 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 I absolutely hate opening up this, but we are going to use Gamma 3. There we go. Just so where we can actually see, and it's not going to be super dark. Let's get our butt in here. All right, now, the way it used to be, when, uh, there used to, I know it, it really doesn't have any meaning on this, but, um, it used to be a big, huge gate right here, but they ended up getting rid of it, and you used to have to, if you were going to bring a thylane here before cryopods, uh, you would have to bring a thylane in here, and you'd have to use this spot right here to raise it up. You'd have to breed them on the outside, drag the baby in here, and then raise it up right here, which was... Kind of a pain in the butt, but now that they've got cryopods, they got rid of the gate, which kind of makes sense. All right, so let's get our butt down here. Now, in, coming down in here, it's... It's pretty. Kind of creepy, kind of kooky. A bit of ooky, you know, I guess. All right, so there's... When you come around in here... Oh, hey, loot. All right, now we could just jump down there, but I'm not sure what kind of trouble we'll get into, so I think I might want to piecemeal my way down. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention is bring something in case of rabies. Um, me, I just bring uh, a medical bruise. That way there I can just heal through the rabies. Uh, you can bring antidotes. I mean, I believe I do... No, I got rid of the... Oh, hello. I did get rid of the antidote, but... Yeah, and then these guys right here, they are kind of a pain. But if you're on a Thyla with a decent saddle, which you kind of should be um, coming into a cave like this, I um, mean, you, you can do it on a primitive cave, but that's another tangent I could go on here in about two seconds. I really don't want to go across that on that. But these guys, they can fully tank one of these little uh, um, rock shark elementals, or one of the rubble golems that are in here. You can fully tank it. It just takes you a little bit of time because they take really reduced damage. I believe it's one-tenth of the amount of damage. But a rocket launcher <laughs> it goes through them like butter. It's pretty good. <laughs> I love bringing rocket launchers in here just for the fun. Making these things go boom. All right, come on, dude. All right, there you go. All right, he's toast. All 
Alright. I'm down inside of here. Can you get up there? Is that lip gonna stop us? Oh no, here we go. Nailed it. First try. Getting a lot of Lamantria saddles on this map. Maybe they're telling me something. Alright. Get down in here. Now on this one right here, you can actually go right, you can go left. Uh, both of them are equally dangerous. I just go left because I like left. But I think here we're going to start getting into some Arthropleurus, so I don't want to sprint in here. At least right yet. Well, I, I guess we'll sprint a little. Just, I don't want to get in over my head here. And that right there, that's the outlet for the opposite side. Hello. I hear you. Oh, hello. How are you? Other than dead. And you. And your little buddies, too. Alright, alright, alright. That happened. Oh, hey, and then there's spiders. Okay! So, that happened. Alright. All right, you guys gonna aggro? Okay, good. I wanna fight these guys kinda one-on-one. -on -one. Come on, reload. Now, ranged weapons do increase damage against Arthropleurus, which is kind of <laughs> amazing inside these caves. Oh, hey, look! He gave us a sickle. Thanks, guys. Hello! Alright. Oh, you just came out of the floor! Oh my gosh, you're like Commando Boa. Didn't do you any good, but hey. <laughs> I love it, man. Just give you prods. Prods are so fun. All right, so here, um, here. Actually, let me clear this out a little bit. Let me see. Where are you? Oh, no, no. You're going to get eaten. Now, if you can pull these guys away and fight them uh, individually, that's kind of best. See, you're. Big mound of Arthropleur over there. Reload that. You guys are just bows, right? Yeah, just bows. Okay, now there's a couple things of this spot right here that I want to talk about. Alright, one. That's a rubble golem. Alright, there's usually a rubble golem right there, and they hurt. Alright. We're gonna eat him. Yeah, dude, come on, man. I've already, I've already ganked your buddy. Come on, dude. Getting all cracky. How do you make a rubble golem have a butt crack? Smack it with a phyla! Ah, ha, 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 ha. Alright. There we go. Alright. Alright, so this spot right here. Alright, that is an endless abyss that hole right there down inside of there actually let's just get out the handy dandy laser pointer that is a hole that will insta kill you if you fall inside that you die there's no if ands or buts about it there's no way around it it's death it's a surefire way of death so there's this nice neat convenient little path over here that you have to jump 
over to get over there. Now, you can go that way, um, but I'm about to show you a shortcut that completely invalidates that whole spot. All right, you come, you, as soon as you come through here to the right, you go up this way, and this is why you absolutely have to have a thylo. Well, I guess you don't absolutely have to have a thylo. You can come in here with grappling hooks, but who wants to take time for those? Just use a thylo. So much easier. Thylos are easy to get on this map. All right, and then you come over this way, up through the Spider-Man Arthoplura that are apparently in the wall. That you guys can't get out. Let's reload. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 no! I don't think so. Okay. All right. So, Spider-Man thylas or, or Spider-Man Arthropleura are a thing. Oh yeah. And by the way, there's a whole ton of snails in here. A whole ton. Oh, hello. All right, come on, dude. Got to give you a butt crack like we gave your other, like we gave your buddy. I mean, you are a little bit higher level, aren't you? Oh, is that a mantis? All right, oh, okay. But yeah, this guy, he's real. I mean, he takes a good beating, but he really isn't doing that much damage at all. So, he's only level 50. Okay. I would hate to see a 150 of you. I mean, that one right there might actually do a little bit more damage. Actually, a lot more damage. A considerable more amount of damage, but it's still not going to do enough to actually make me concerned other than go, oh wow, you're hitting hard. Yeah, the main concern for me in this is rabies, um, arthropleura, and falling to my death in massive holes. Alright, there's some bats. Come on. And Arthur Flora over there, Agra, the one in the wall. Yep, there he comes. Come on. I do believe I probably want to take out these bats, just in case. Here we go. There we go. All right, nailed it. Oh, hey. Why does it always have to be snakes and mantises? There we go. All right, now that we're here, all you do is come down this way, you go right up here to the artifact. And like the other two uh, artifacts on Scorched Earth, this one also has a wonderful little surprise. This one's got the sword skin. I like the sword skin. All right, so this is the artifact of the destroyer. It's pretty, pretty cool. All right, now that we're over on this side, I want to show you guys something else here. Um, and it's not how to uh, shoot Arthropleuros in the face, although that is always fun. Come at me, bro. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Wrong button. All right. And if you come over on this side, there's usually not much over on this side, but there is something I want to show you. Right, over here on this edge. Okay, now that right there, that is the ledge that we came in. Every once in a while, I think there is one there. In fact, let me get a better vantage point. Hey, guys. 
Alright, they were part of the instruction a little bit too. Hello! I don't want to be on the edge next to that guy. See, I don't want to get pushed around by him. Alright. I think I see a light down there. Come on, dude. You gotta go, man. Insert joke about uh, Rubble Gullum butt crack. There we go. Come on, dude. Blocking everybody's look. You, man. Honestly, I wish you could tame these little guys. I mean, I like the big ones, but the little ones would actually be kind of cool to tame them as well. That is something we totally need to do, is go tame on um, rock columns. I like rock columns a lot. Thank you. Guess I probably should have kept that enhanced uh, um, cloth armor. Okay. But down here, there is a ledge. Way down there. Way down underneath here. All right now, I don't want to get too close to this because I've seen bad things happen here. Now, every once in a great while, you will find a nice little bit of cave loot down there. It's a red drop. But until they fix it, and it's been a bug ever since uh, um, this game has come out, is every time you try to go down there via, you mean if you grappling hook up here and you try to go down, there's a certain level that once you get down below, it insta-kills you. No matter what you do. Even if you're in admin mode on a server, it will still insta kill you so it, no matter how much you want that loot down there no matter how much that loot begs no matter how much it cries no matter how much it says hey look at me i'm free loot down here do not go and get it i'm telling you right now never ever 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 try to go get that loot um there has been one time that i have heard of being able to get it but yeah, every other time anybody's ever tried to get down there, they always die. And there's if you're playing on a server and you're running as the admin, there's no way to recover their stuff either. Yeah, it's just, it's gone. It's poof. So yeah, just don't go down there. I'm warning you. All right, so now uh, to get back up, now we just go through this way. Now this, oh, hello. Oh, hey. That happened. All right, you know, Rubble Golem, I would love to give you a butt crack, but you know what? We're going to head out. All right, let's see. Can we live? See, this is what I was trying to avoid right there. All of this stuff. If I didn't want to sprint coming down here. And all these guys spawned. They were only... The cave was only at about half spawn when we came in. And, but once we picked up the artifact, then it seems like all the other stuff spawned. And it's, that's the way it's been for my entire playthrough here on Scorched Earth. That one hit one. No, it didn't. Hello? Where'd you come from? See, that guy, he just jumped out of nowhere and smacked me in the face. Alright, clear this out again. Alright, now we can go up through that way or we can just go this way. I'm just gonna go this way. Got a lot more spawns though. Alright. Oh, hello! This way, and all right. Now, you'll also notice that this cave is an amazing source of resources. If you're basing close to this cave, you can actually come in here with a thyla or something, 
Uh, most preferably with a Thyla and harvest all this stuff. Let's look at this. Hold on. No, that's not it. Maybe these ones aren't the correct one. But yeah, uh, there's all sorts of salt, crystal, uh, obsidian, metal, all sorts of cool stuff up inside here. Yeah, here's crystal. I probably should have. Yeah, that's crystal. Okay, these, while they look like salt, aren't salt. There is salt in here, though. But yeah, tons of crystal. I love the formations of crystal in here. It's pretty impressive. All right, so I believe we are back at the entrance. Oh yeah, all right. Hey, nice. Not bad. That was actually a really easy, simple one. See, Thylacolios make this run so much easier than any other dino. Oh, hey, <laughs> our cloth armor was almost toast. All right, let's see. And of course that, nailed it. Hop right back up here. Right through here. Oh, let's get rid of Gamma. There we go. And now we head back. Now we have to go down past the boulder, past the red barn, get lost in the desert, do the whole thing on the way back, spend days out here in the blistering sun just to be able to find civilization again. Phew, finally, civilization. That took us days. Almost a week. Isn't that right, Coffee? No, actually, that's just... All right, that joke's played its part. All right, so <laughs> let's grab this. All right, pop back up here. I'm back over. And hop up. Thank you. All right, so we've got the artifact right there, and also we've got the skin. Now, the sword skin looks pretty dang good. Um, matter of fact, maybe I should actually show you guys that, huh? Uh, let's see. All right, so there we go. Now we've got the full set of three. Ah, uh, that just won't do. There! Now we've got the full set of three. Yeah, that's pretty dang good. All right, so hey, let's go, uh, you know what? Let's go take a look at the uh, skins. I probably should have uh, done this for the other ones, but yeah, let's see. Um, sword. How much metal do we have? Oh yeah, we've got enough. Hele. Hele. There we go. And there's the pike. Alright. You know what? Let's make a pike. And I know I already threw one away. Alright, and get a torch. Nope. Alright, now well, let's go up here and let's go show off these skins. They're pretty cool. And you don't have to have any event going on, and red drop, and yeah, you don't have to have any event going on. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's take uh, that skin, put it on that. Take that skin, put it on that, and that skin, put it on that. All right, so first off, the torch. It's pretty cool. It's wrapped with your boa skulls, it looks like. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I, I dig that. I like the fact that you can actually have different looking torches. That's kind of cool. All right, now we have the uh, the pike. 
Now we have... The pike? All right, so yeah, here, this one right here, it looks like it's got a raptor skull on the end of it. It doesn't look like it'd be very effective, but it looks very intimidating. <laughs> Pretty cool. Looks, the, the raptor skull, it, since it's bound closed and bound to it, uh, yeah, it would break the first time you really tried to smack somebody with it. Either that or it would stop you from smacking it. But it still looks cool. It looks intimidating. I like it. All right, so, and then this. Now this one, now this is the sword skin. Now this one right here, this is the manticore sword skin. This one looks wicked, wicked cool. I love the enameled little bits on it with the gem. That is cool. Nothing on the pommel other than the uh, the decorative bits. But yeah, that is wicked, wicked cool. All right, so anyway, I think that's going to do it for the episode. Uh, that is how you do the last cave. Now, that one right there had its own episode because I, I, I prefer taking that one slower just because uh, it's easier to either fall off, get knocked off with a uh, um, rubble golem smacking you, or just go headlong in there and then have to uh, fight for your meaty bits as uh, everything tries to eat them. Yeah. All right, so hey, uh, that's... I. I think I'm going to close the video. I hope you guys had a good time. I, if you've uh, liked the video, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. Until next time, this is Fligger Foo, and take it easy, everybody.